What's going on, dudes? It's old Lucifer back here with more goddamn metal for your asses. And uh, got a heavy hitting, deep dive, philosophical metal type of video for you dudes today. Got a question here, it kind of got the wheels turning a little bit. Uh, this dude left this on a couple of different videos, but uh, I'm taking this particular version of the question because there's a bit more meat on the bone here. And it relates to fucking war metal. Portuguese M A C P O W. What's up, Drew? I have a question about war metal. If we ignore all the core, grind, and noise genres, would you say war metal stands supreme as the heaviest and most evil metal genre? Even more than slam, raw black metal, and funeral doom. Oh, this was an interesting question. A lot of people come to my channel and love the war metal recommendations. They come to the live streams and they love uh, you know, getting recommendations there. Uh, that's a really good place to come in and, by the way, uh, and hear things maybe for the first time. I, I give short snippets in my videos of what certain bands sound like, but uh, obviously I can't just sit there and load down a video with like full albums worth of fucking material. So if you want to come in and hear some of those songs, joining one of these live streams would be a really good idea, or just checking them out later. You don't even have to be there live. But um, yeah, a lot of people like the war metal stuff that I do, shining a light on some of these bands. And uh, so I guess I'm the guy to bring these questions to. So in regards to this, the first thing he says is with this question about war metal is if we ignore all the core grind and noise genres. Uh, I guess a good place to start here would be to say I don't think you even have to ignore the core grind and noise genres. Even though a lot of core grind and noise have a lot of elements that go into war metal. I mean, a lot of what people, especially more the old school guys when this bestial black metal stuff was first coming onto the scene, a lot of the guys that were making the music credit a lot of the grindcore stuff with uh, being a big influence. Uh, I think especially stuff like Napalm Death, just stuff that was real heavy hitting and fucking visceral. And I think what a lot of the early you know bestial war metal, bestial black metal, whatever you nerds want to call it, I think what a lot of those guys did is they loved the evilness of like black metal, but they loved the intensity of death metal and like grindcore and shit like that. And uh, eventually, they, these things just kind of ended up melding together, similar in the early '80s to how punk and traditional metal kind of started blending together, and you started getting you know extreme metal and you know thrashy, you know speed metal type shit. So I don't think you even have to ignore those genres as a whole. The next part here is, uh, would you say it stands supreme as the heaviest and the most evil genre? Um, I guess the first thing to just really break this down is how exactly are you defining heaviness? I know people, that, that's a bit more vague of a term. What do you mean by heavy? I mean, people, hippies back in the 60s were listening to fucking Jimi Hendrix trip on acid and do bar dives and shit, which is cool as shit. And it's definitely like proto heavy music. But back then, it was like, man, that's heavy, man, that's heavy. Obviously, by today's standards, that's like, it's like hippie rock. I mean, it's, it's, it's not heavy by today's standards. So what exactly do we mean by heavy? I would say for me, uh, being a Doom fan, I, I have always, uh, I'm talking about the genre of metal, by the way, not necessarily the game. The game's pretty cool. But I would say that style of metal, that going back to Black Sabbath, that just, you know, not very complicated, oftentimes just power chords, but real dark notes played together. I would say to me that is what I think of when I think of heaviness. Um, I tend to think of how powerful the music is and uh, really something about the bottom heavy element to it. So that's kind of one way to define heavy. Another one would be, especially in modern metal, would be intensity. So intensity is heavy. But I think between the two of like the powerful bottom heavy part of the music and the intensity of the music, I would say war metal not only has one, but it actually has both. It has a lot of the heavy bottom end, you know, with the low tunings and the aggression and all that, which ties into the intensity. It has that as well. So if war metal is not the heavy, heaviest and the most evil, it is definitely at the top of that fucking list, especially in terms of heaviness. Now, evil, I think, as a descriptor, is a bit more straightforward. And I think, like I said, when these guys were kind of coming up with the sound, uh, you know, I'm wearing a blasphemy shirt for this video, uh, and this is a blood upon the altar, this is the first actual, you know, release that uh, would fall into the war metal camp. This is basically what started it in uh, audio form and putting that out into the world. Uh, I would say that uh, war metal kind of just took those elements of the evilness of the black metal shit that was around in the early 80s, early mid 80s, 
uh, by that time. And by the time it got to the late 80s, it was kind of more understood of like what exactly this is. And they just took that and added a bunch of that heaviness. Uh, so you have the evil of the raw black metal stuff that was going on in the 80s, plus you had the heaviness of it. So I think it wins on both fronts. I would say for, for my money, especially when you're talking in the realms of like what is undeniably like true metal, I don't think anyone, whether you like war metal or not, I don't think anyone denies that this is like some legit fucking metal. Whether it's your thing or not, nobody would look at that and be like, yeah, but only posers like that. I don't think most people think that. I think when you look at the imagery in uh, bestial black metal, war metal, whatever, when you look at that, you're like, that's metal as fuck. Now, when you hear the sounds and the chaos and the intensity and the heaviness and the atmosphere of it all, I think most people are just like, holy shit. You know, it's, there's, it, there's definitely a real factor to it. I don't think anybody looks at that the same way as some of these other bands that he mentions here. He says, even more than Slam, we're all black metal and Funeral Doom. Well, uh, to break, just briefly, I guess, break those genres down, Slam not only is not my thing, um, in my opinion, in terms of heaviness, Slam is only heavy in the sense of like it being the equivalent of a jump scare in a horror movie. That's kind of how I look at it. It's, I see it as a cheap, rely on the reflexes to garner a reaction type of scare. You know, it's, um, and jump scares in horror movies are like that. Slam kind of relies on that to me. It, uh, it, the way it, it relies on that kind of bouncy chug bit that will typically follow a buildup. You know, dubstep does this as well, where you kind of like everything kind of builds up and it drops and everybody wants to just go into this fucking free fall mode. It's almost like a reflex that's uh, thrown at you or, uh, you know, you just instinctively want to do it in regards to the to the tune. So to me, it's almost like a, the equivalent of a horror movie jump scare. So it's like the, the PG-13 horror movie counterpart to the quality rated R banger that is fucking war metal and just for, for me the type of metal that I like whether it's you know nasty ass speed metal or whatever because I'm just in terms of horror to complete the analogy I am a slow burn old fashioned horror movie type guy like I like horror and the scares to rely on like a, a genuine sense of like you earned that scare you know you didn't just have you know the camera turns real quick and there's something jumps out at you and the, the volume goes through the roof and like you have to cover your ears. It's easy to get a reaction when you do that. That's kind of what slam more is to me. Uh, so in terms of metal, I, I like the heaviness to be straight up and like rooted in good fucking riffs. Solid, just kind of straightforward. Uh, you can have breakdowns and stuff like that. I'm not against that. I'm, I'm really not that picky, I don't think. I can listen to plenty of these things. It's just, what do I go back to? What do I want to buy? What do I want to listen to? What do I want to collect? It's the stuff that, to me, is just more like straightforward and intense and heavy. And War Metal checks those boxes. So, would I say that War Metal stands supreme is the heaviest and most evil metal genre? I think it's safe to say that it is, in my opinion. Of course, this is going to be totally opinion-based. We're going to have somebody come in here that's a fan of fucking... I don't know, vegetarian slam core or some shit like that, and be like, what the fuck? War metal is not where it's at, bro. You need to listen to fucking, and they'll name some unlistenable sounding fucking band. Cool. Go listen to that. That's fucking great. It's all opinion based, anyways, man. That's all this shit is. But for my money, it's definitely got the evil to a fucking T. It's like a prerequisite to be a war metal band is to have something evil going on and to be heavy as fuck. So. Considering the band relies on that and the intensity of it all, I would say they they take the cake for me in terms of if I was to recommend someone an album, and I would to say this is some of the heaviest and most evil shit you're ever gonna listen to. Of ten albums I handed somebody, at least nine of them would be a fucking war metal band. I would hand them you know maybe Blasphemy's Blood Upon the Altar here. Antichrist Siege Machine, Purifying Blade, or I mean, it, it really doesn't even matter. I'm just, I'm thinking of all the albums that I would hand somebody, man. Uh, Conqueror, dude, War Cult Supremacy would probably be one of them. Um, yeah, I would really, you know, that'd be a really good thing to do if I was to make a video maybe one day of my top 10 heaviest albums. It would probably be maybe nine fucking war metal albums and like a Mortician album. Uh, off the top of my head, it would probably be something like that, you know, and especially for diversity. Because I think, you know, Mortician's obviously heavy as fuck, but I think just as a whole and as a genre, as much as I love death metal, and there's a lot of black metal that I love, to me, the best elements of death metal and black metal 
are combined in war metal. So war metal is just kind of the, the easier solution to the problem. But it's a damn good question, man. Let me know, everybody down below, what you think. If that assessment uh, seems right to you, especially all you slam fans. Did I slam your genre hard enough? Let me know that down below. But that's all I got for this one, man. Until next, we'll keep it goddamn heavy. Keep it fucking mean and offensive. It's the way metal is supposed to be. Blast some more metal, and I will see all you sons of bitches in the next one. Later.